Thank you for tuning in to this week's read. For this week's read, I'm using Tarot Grand Lux by Chiro Marchetti for the main um, tarot. The website I have on this one is usgamesinc.com. Feel free to freeze frame and check out that information if you're interested. The support of Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. They're illustrated by Jesse Reich, and there's a website at the bottom, hayhouse.com. The dice that I use uh, are from Amazon. Here's the stuff on the back. Um, if it focuses. I use the D20 for the Major Arcana, which does omit 21, but I work with it. And then I use the D12 for the number of the Minor Arcana from 1 to Knight. It, doesn't, it omits Queen and King, but I work with it. And I use the four-sided dice for the element, if you're wondering. All right. That's what I'm using. Hopefully that helps. And, oh, if you want a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. This is james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. See me email. And now on to your reading. Hello, Aquarius. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. Uh, these readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Aquarius? Oh, that's fun. You got the sun card. The sun card is good. Is it going to pull through this whole reading is a good question. Okay. Okay. I put down all those cards. All those cards. Okay, that's all. That's all. Um... The situation, why do I feel like you fell into it pretty quickly? Like I do, like why am I questioning it though? Why, 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 why? I feel like there's a lot of whys. I almost wonder if you look back and you're like, how did I get in this situation? Like how did I get here? Like I understand how I got here, but how did I get here? It's one of those things. Um, it's kind of like, I understand what I did, but why did I do it? Maybe it's one of those things. Like, I understand I chose to do this, but why did I choose to do this? Maybe it's one of those. Because it seems like when you got into it, you got into it pretty quickly. Um, maybe it was to get out of one problem and you ended up into a different one. Maybe somebody gave you information that wasn't quite on the ball. It wasn't quite the most reliable information. Let's use that. It wasn't the most reliable information. You got into the situation quick, but it's kind of like, I'm looking back and like, why did I think I wanted to do this? Why did I think this was a good idea? I keep feeling that energy. And I also feel like I'm quite locked into it. Uh, I'm almost wondering if some of you, this is a work thing, and you're like, wow, X amount of years ago, I thought this was the, the job I wanted to do. Had I known that, had I known then, had I known then, had I known then. My hand is itching like crazy. Maybe you have some money coming in. <laughs> My hand is itching like crazy. Um, okay, that's fine. That's where we're starting with, that's fine. There's also this antithesis energy going on here. Antithesis, okay. Do um, you have the strength card here? This can be your opposite. Not that you're not strong, you're obviously strong. But this talks about Leo. Leo is Aquarius's opposite. That's where I'm going with this. So somebody else might be moving forward very quick and very boldly. You can't really catch up to them before they've already made another mistake, decision. They made another decision, but I feel like you would be like, no, that was a mistake. Um, <laughs> however you view it, it's fine. Um... I am in the middle of this situation. I feel like I can't get out of it. At the moment, I feel like I'm just ignoring it because I'm just fed up. Is it? Why are you ignoring it? I feel like you're kind of ignoring it at the moment. Why? Because it doesn't seem to go where I want it to anyway. And people make their own decisions. I try to give a plan. I try to help work this out. I try to get ahead of it. But before I know it, it, things have already changed. Things have already changed. 
and Aquarius is pretty smart, so it's kind of like I try to get ahead of it. It's like it's already changed before I got ahead of it. I try to block it so I it won't change, so I can get ahead of it, and it's still it's, they went a different direction. It's kind of like oh, I blocked that way. It didn't go that way, but I went. I found another loophole that I didn't even know was there, which is quite the feat. Um, it's almost like well, there wasn't a door in that wall, but now there is. One of those things. It's kind of like that wasn't really an that wasn't an acceptable way to leave the situation, but there's a door in that wall now. <laughs> so, um, and right now I'm like I'm exhausted. I'm like all right, fine. That's how it's gonna work. Then that's how it's gonna work. A lot of energy with it. A lot of energy with this situation. Now, how does this go better for you? If this is hitting, I'm like it's already either hitting or it's not. How does this go better for you? Because I get like the total situation is not bad, but it's like the parts that aren't right are extremely aggravating. Uh, it's kind of like, reminds me of being a kid and like somebody making like, remember my, my brother didn't like onions when, I, when we were a kid. And instead of eating spaghetti at all because there was onions in it, he wouldn't eat any of it. Um, instead of just picking them out and moving on from it. And I remember, I think when I was younger, I don't think I liked onions that much, so I would just put, put them to the side and keep going. Um, so how do we how do we get through this situation? Because it's like, there's like, it reminds me of like that, that scenario because it's like there's onions in the sauce, there's big pieces of it, and it's just like the whole, it's all you can see is the onions. You don't even see the sauce and the noodles or whatever else is going on here. You just keep seeing these giant onions. And to you, it's just like, it's a giant onion. It's just this giant onion has taken over my life. Um, which makes sense. So how do we work through this? Accepting that you're never going to like it? Is that really where we, we got to go? All right. This, okay. Five of Wands. You keep fighting to make it better. This isn't working. You keep trying to work with the element. It's not working. It's not working. You keep, you, you keep trying to make it work to your advantage. It's not working. Um, they're saying it's this is never going to go the way you want it to. Okay. Then where do we go with it? Let's try that. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Magician shows up, and the Nine of Pentacles, half in, half out. The Knight of Swords, which makes sense, that's intellect moving forward and balancing things out differently. Whatever here doesn't work is not going to work. It's like I keep trying to fix it, keep trying to fix it, it just never, no matter how many different ways I try to fix it, it just never keeps working. I feel like what they're saying is like, let that go. It's not going to work, then it's not going to work. Move towards what does work. Move towards what does work. It's kind of like that same spaghetti analogy. I feel like it was spaghetti we were eating as a kid. He never would eat that sauce. He would never eat spaghetti because of that. Well, he wouldn't eat the sauce, that's for sure. It's kind of like before you even put that sauce on your noodles... Like pour it into something else first. Take out all the onions and then pour it on your noodle. And then pour it on your noodles. Just completely stop dealing with them. Like you don't even have to pick them out while you're eating it. Just pour that sauce into some other container. Pick out all the onions that you don't want. Then put it on your noodles. I know it sounds weird. It seems overly simplistic. But that's where your abundance comes in. It's like stop centering on that. They're there. It's almost like the way you keep handling it is like, I keep trying to make get them to make the sauce without the onions. I keep trying to get them to make the sauce without the onions, and it just never happens. Except that the onions are there. Are there. I see that. It feels really overly simplistic. It really does. Because I get that that seems to change things a lot for you. I feel like they're saying you're fighting against something that just never changes, but you keep fighting towards it. You keep trying to make it more the way that you would like it, and it's just it's just doubling back on you constantly. They're saying stop fighting it. Accept that it's a part of the situation and redirect your energy to what you can have. Make it work for you. Make it work for you. So it's kind of like, all right, I'm taking those onions before I even 
before it even goes on my noodles, I'm taking those onions out, pouring my sauce into a different container, taking out all the onions and things I don't like, then I'm putting it on my noodles. But then I'm taking those onions and I'm giving them to somebody else who does want them. Oh, this reminds me of my sister now. She doesn't like peppers. I love peppers. She always picks them out. I always take them. <laughs> That's just how it works. Well, I don't always take them. Somebody takes them. But there's a lot of people who do like the peppers. Um, they're saying redirect this energy. Stop fighting against changing it and use it to your advantage like that. Taking them out, giving them to somebody who they want. So if there's a person here that you're having a hard time dealing with, try to rebalance this so somebody else has to deal with them that wants to. Something like that. There's good energy here around you. There's a different way to create harmony. You're not going to be happy with this. You're not. I got the Knight of Cups upside down this time. The only one I'm missing now is the King. But <laughs> and I got the stagnant energy of the um, Hanged Man, half in, half out. Whatever this is, this antithesis, you're not going. To, it's it's not going to ever go the way you want it to. It's just not going to happen. But it can find harmony somewhere else. If you find, if you just accept that it's never going to work the way you want to, it's always going to be that onion in the sauce that you don't want. And you find a different way to like. It's going to be there, so I'm just planning for it. It's almost like, <laughs> it's almost like I put, I put my sauce through a strainer before I even like I put it through a strainer in this other cup, and then I just give those pieces to somebody else, and I put this on what I want, and I it's it's an extra step that not everybody has to do, but. I'm not even going to worry about it because I already know it's going to be there. But then other people I give those onions to, they're going to love it. It seems so simple. It really does. But I'm getting you get a, a lot of harmony out of this. Things go a lot better for you. People seem to be very happy about it. One of the reasons I feel like you don't want to do this or you're kind of like, I don't know if I should do this, is because I'm like, I want the whole situation to work out though. And I feel like this energy is unpredictable. I'm afraid that the tower or the wheel of fortune is going to make a make a move here and then we're really going to be in trouble i'm really worried that if i don't keep my eye on it and i don't keep trying to fight it it's really going to be, be going to become a problem it's kind of like what else are they going to add to this sauce if i if i say i'm okay with the onions how bad does this sauce really get what else are they going to put in like what are they going to put in next what else is going to happen um that's that's just going to drive you nuts i i don't feel like there's a resolution for that the the advice they give is just like let it play out the way it needs to play out. This is just one of those things you're never going to have control over. If you can accept it and just, you know, all right, if it gets worse, then we'll deal with it when it gets worse. Just kind of like we have to we have to cross that bridge when we come to it. That type of energy, which if you can make peace with that, if you can, this can go better. Because I get like the longer you do it that way, the the more comfortable you'll be with it. You'll find success here. Um, I feel like you're going to let go and you're going to have more possibilities come from this. I feel like whatever the situation is, wherever your energy is currently going, you have a lot more things you could have, but that energy going to this other ener uh, other thing, this antithesis, if you will, that's just, it's wasted energy. It's not, allowing, it's not allowing you to create other possibilities. It's like, it's like 40% of my energy is going against that. And all this time, all that 40% of your energy keeps going there. When you free that up, that's 40% of your energy that can go towards what you actually want. If you think of it in terms of money, you have $100. You keep throwing $40 away. When you stop throwing that $40 away, it starts to build up. And you can make more happen with that $40 by you keeping it. I mean, this reading either hits or it doesn't. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be one of those. It either hits or it doesn't. Um, making peace with that does seem like it's hard. Like, I feel like I'm worried, like, oh, if I, but if I don't, if I don't keep an eye on this, if I don't keep fighting against it, it's all going to fall apart. I get that it won't, but that's up to you to believe that or not. And it's hard, but if you're able to get across that boundary and stop, you know, pull your energy away from that, you're going to have so much more going to your benefit. I think we're there. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. 
Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.